So you always ask, what are the things one should know to crack a Flutter interview? And this is the answer that I had given during the networking session of Tepest India 2021. Even if you have attended the session live, stay till the end of the video because I'm going to be talking about the ebook that I wrote on the same topic. And there is also a special discount code for the same at the end of the video. Now let's see what I answered. Yeah, so I, I actually love this question because I really want to tell people what you know, the things that you really have to know to, you know, get an edge over the others. Because at this point, we have a lot of uh, candidates, junior candidates who will, you know, want to, uh, uh, you're trying out for Flutter roles. Yet, there are some things that they're not probably not getting right uh, about, like, you know, what kind of projects or how, what kind of knowledge they should have before they start, before they apply. Uh, in a way, I really feel this is all my understanding and my opinion is that good knowledge of TART, I think is a must. Like understanding not just the basics, but also a little more advanced stuff like the mix-ins, extensions, etc. Because a lot of interviewers might, you know, give you the coding problem in just TART to understand the hold of your language. Because a lot of things in Flutter can be learned on the job, but you know, it is very good if you're coming uh, with knowledge of oops or design patterns, et cetera, it is going to give you an edge over the others. Without it also, you can get a job for sure. It depends on the requirements. But if you're talking about giving, getting an edge over the others, then understanding a little more intermediate concepts in that is, I think, very important. And about like Flutter, in a way, you should definitely, uh, you know, demonstrate either through your projects or resume or whatever, that you have worked with databases, you have worked not just in Firebase though, like maybe a little, uh, you know, SQL, uh, SQL and all that, you have worked with those, you worked with APIs, you worked with local storage, et cetera. So demonstrate that through your projects for sure. Your resume is your first impression, if you remember. And another thing that I feel like does give a bit of edge uh, over the others is a little bit of knowledge of the native frameworks, like as in like, you know, Android, Kotlin, uh, Swift, or if you're, uh, uh, you know, doing for uh, web, then maybe JavaScript as well. Yes, you can build a lot of applications without these knowledge as well. But if it depends on what company you're interviewing for, if they have any kind of, you know, uh, uh, situation where you need to like debug stuff or like you need to pack stuff and you probably have to build uh, libraries in the native, uh, you know, you have to write native code for it. You don't want to fall short there, right? Like your knowledge there is definitely going to give you a more fuller, uh, like whole picture to the interviewer that you have a fuller knowledge of mobile development, not just flutter development. Because at the end of the day, you're a mobile developer because you are building for like so many platforms. And if by chance you are interviewing for a senior role, then knowledge of architecture patterns, like just have we talked about in architecture in a way, testing, is going to be good. Like, you know, uh, also understanding CICD, uh, code magic shines there, of course. Uh, and of course, experience in deploying apps. All of this is really good if you have the knowledge and you are applying for senior role as well. So uh, my one tip would be also like, if you're, you know, interviewing for Flutter developer does not mean just you have to know only Flutter a little bit here and there makes you a better mobile developer. And that's what you should aim at not just be a Flutter developer. So yeah. Now I've been interviewing for Flutter roles for the last 2.5 years for my previous companies at Bounce and Create a Stack. And there are some patterns and gaps that I have noticed in the com in the candidates that we had to reject. And in this book, I talk about most of them and list down the things that one should know to stand out in the crowd of Flutter market. Believe it or not, you actually need to know much more than Flutter to actually ace a Flutter interview. This is almost a 20 page ebook that is targeted to candidates who are looking for an internship, a junior or early career role or a senior role. But for the next two weeks, I'm going to be giving you a special discount code. This is the code on the screen, apply it on the checkout page and get 31% off. And in that current price, you not only get the ebook, but you also get a free resume review from me. So how it works is like you pay for the ebook and you 
get the ebook on your mail but along with that you also get this email id you send your resume to this email id and i will simply criticize the hell of it which is good for you because i will tell you what are the things that you should improve in your resume to stand out and what are the things that perhaps should go away from your resume all the details are there in the product page so do check it out in the description below if you're also interested to get a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one call with me where we can discuss the resume over call that option is also available in that product page so please do check that out as well and for all the others who do not want to buy the book it is completely fine i hope the information that i gave during the networking session is also good enough for you to ace that interview and thank you so much everyone for all the constant support till now i am blessed to have all of you and of course follow me on twitter and instagram get to know the behind the scenes of all of my work and see you in the next one